Hi there, Dr. Craig from Elevate Chiropractic and in today's video I'm going to show you my top five simple exercises that you can do to help try and free up your mid-back or your thoracic spine. So in today's video I'm going to show you my top five simple exercises that you can do to help try and free up your mid-back or your thoracic spine. Now if you've seen a few of my previous posts, we've looked at the relationship between posture and shoulder function, and in particular how postural abnormalities can um, make you uh, more at risk of getting a rotator cuff tear or other sh um, shoulder cuff injuries. So one of the best ways we can start to improve our posture is by freeing up or, or mobilising our mid-back. So in today's video, I'm going to show you five simple things you can do at home, it requires no equipment, um, they are really simple but, but really effective, so let's go and have a look. So this first exercise is called the cat cow. You're going to go on all fours. As you breathe in, we're going to arch the back towards the ceiling, drop the head down. Also tuck the pelvis under. As you breathe out, we're going to lower down towards the floor, lift the head back and tilt the pelvis forward. Ideally, you're going to go a little bit slower than I demonstrated here. In this version, you're going to sit back onto your heels. This will help lock out the lower back and focus some more movement through your thoracic spine. Try doing this 10 times. This exercise is called thoracic rotation, so we're going to start on all fours again, keeping one arm straight, the other hand's going to be behind your neck, and then you're going to uh, rotate down, touch the elbow towards the opposite arm, and then lift all the way back up towards your roof. Ideally, try and follow with your eyes where your arm is going. Again, you can cycle through like this um, around about 10 times each side. So this exercise is called thread the needle, reach for the stars. So an easier uh, version of this is to do it with your arms straight. You're going to reach under um, as far as you can and then reach all the way up towards the roof. Again, follow, make sure your head follows where your arm goes. To make it a little bit trickier, and, it, and this is my preferred version, is to go down onto your forearms and do the same thing. I just notice you get a much more uh, rotation through the mid-back and it just feels like a much nicer stretch. So again, you can cycle through like this around about 10 times on each side. This is one of my favourite uh, thoracic rotation exercises. So you can start on your side with your legs bent, knees together. You're going to take your top arm and do a big circle, nice and slow and controlled, trying to keep your hand in contact with the ground all the way around. You'll probably find that as you get up towards the top you might lose contact with the ground, but just keep on working at it and then repeat with the other side. This is a slight variation to the previous exercise. You're going to start in that same position with your hands on top of each other. And this time you're going to take the top arm all the way over and try and touch the ground. Try and allow that top shoulder to reach the ground behind you. And again, follow with your head. Again, you can do this as many times as you like. I like to do 10 each side. So there you have my uh, top five simple exercises that you can do to help try and free up that mid-back or your thoracic spine. Now, of course, um, I'm biased, but I, I think if there is restrictions in your thoracic spine, um, uh, chiropractic care is a really great way of trying to restore some of that restricted motion um, and restore that, that nerve supply and get that communication between your brain and your body working better. Uh, so if you are suffering from some mid-back discomfort, um, please feel free to give a clinical call. Maybe something that we can help you with. But until then, try the exercises, see if they help, um, and hopefully your body will thank you for it.